Dr. Jimmy Reed here. Listen, there are some of us who don't want to prophesy because we're afraid to make a mistake. There are many mistakes that we will make in life from childhood to the time we go on to be with the Lord. We can't be afraid and be in the, such fear that we don't do what God has made available for us to do so freely. You know, Paul fussed at Timothy because Timothy was being frightful and he wrote Paul in jail, in prison, and he was telling him these different things. And Paul said, listen, you get back out there and do the work that you're called to do. After all, I laid hands on you and there was gifts put in you. And also the presbytery laid hands on you. Get out there and move forward with that which you were given. So God does impart for giftings and anointings from one person to the other. I think that's so cool. Also, if you're in frightful and in fear, get with someone who isn't or get with a company of people who aren't and be developed little by little until it begins to be more and more so that you can be assured oh, that I can hear from God and that if I do make a mistake, I back up, I apologize sincerely, and I move forward, move on. That's all we can do when we make a mistake, an error, because the humanness to us can, can do that because we have flaws. But the spirit man on the inside of us doesn't have any flaws because the spirit is from God himself, his spirit in us. But he's urging us to move forward, not be full of fear and frightfulness. You know, when Paul wrote back to Timothy, he wasn't being lighthearted about it. So I'm not going to be lighthearted about it to you today. Don't be full of fear. That's not of God. He's waiting for you to become a participator, not a spectator, not an agitator, but a participator in the anointing he's placed in the earth for us to be able to go forward and bless others.